Conversion Rate Boosting Tips for Your Sales Page, Part 2 As an online internet marketing seller, assuming you are receiving targeted traffic, the conversion rate of your sales page is the key to a good online income. This article is Part 2 of our three-part series that provides 15 tactics for boosting the conversion rate of your sales page. In Part 1, you read about 1. Readability 2. View with other browsers 3. Guarantee 4. Honesty 5. Testimonials Let's continue. 6. Proof Probably only about half of your audience believes a word of your proof of income anymore, so don't dwell on it. Anyone can mock up a static ClickBank revenue page, and it's not even that hard to do the same for a video. One of the big issues with monetary proof of income is that there is no way you can prove that actually using your product is the reason for the numbers you show. You can include monetary proof if you want, but don't go overboard, or it is just wasted space. Point seven. Signature, sign your advertisement, and use a blue font color. For some reason, prospects see a black signature as if it were a Xerox copy, but blue is considered to be authentic. If you have great difficulty in creating your signature with a mouse, you may get away with a cursive font, then convert the signature to a graphic, .jpg or .gif8. Using PS, you've likely seen the PS messages at the bottom of most sales letters. Reasonable use of postscript messages can will boost conversions in almost every instance. But more than a couple levels tend to get ignored. Point nine. Last minute testimonial Many advertisers have found that you can even further boost the conversion by having one last testimonial on the bottom of the page after your PS messages. Point ten. The sales funnel Once you've made the sale, a secondary page with an upsell or companion product can greatly help sales. However, make sure this upsell product isn't viewed as a missing part of what you promised in your sales page. Point 11. Purchasing options If your product is high-end, you may want to provide a multi-payment plan. Three payments of $197 is more palatable to some people than $587 up front. Also, if you are selling recurring billing product like a subscription or membership, Consider a short-term, introductory price like a 14-day access at $1 or $7 before the $47 or $97 per month charge kicks in. As you examine purchasing options, also consider some advertising copy that amortizes the initial investment. The argument that your $497 product is like $41 a month for the first year and free after that is much more palatable to many prospects.